Thank you for your time hearing this Warren article to see if the town will vote to establish a committee to learn the cost of Arlington residents, auto and property insurance, premiums and claims. Arlington needs new sources of revenue to prevent divisive override votes. At the same time, I estimate we pay about $40 million a year for auto and home insurance without asking any questions. When the town's in such dire need of new revenue sources to prevent overrides, we have a duty to investigate if our publicly obligated insurance programs operate fairly and efficiently. If we find that insurance is rife with duplicated administrations and lack of prevention efforts, we would do well to look at consolidation and perhaps a new mission for insurance. Arlingtonians pay about $30 million annual, annually for homeowner and auto insurance, as I mentioned. This is a cash flow that may or may not be efficiently managed. For the most part, the public is left in the dark about costs and claims of the system. We do receive excellent reports from police and fire about accidents and calls for help, but these may not relate to insurance claims. We're left to wonder if texting while driving is really such a problem in Arlington, or DUI for that matter. Other issues such as pedestrians or bicycle related accidents are not reported by insurance companies. It's not a closed, closed loop comprehensive system specific to Arlington. This is great if you're a termite because without any information about the extent of termite damage in Arlington, we have no organized prevention program against those critters. This is too bad because in fact, termites do so much damage throughout New England, insurance companies ex exclude it from coverage. I've seen a lot of this damage in my 30 years of carpentry work in this area. So the termites win. Let's be clear, this survey of insurance costs might tell us that the market-based approach is indeed extremely efficient. If we learn that the costs are way out of line, however, I suggest we explore entirely different models of insurance, such as the self-insurance approach used by most large organizations. Should we consider a statewide network of community-based insurance programs that people would be able to join? I've explored and I'm very impressed with the government-run auto programs run in British Columbia and Manitoba because they operate like a community service. This site explains how the British Columbia plan can justify paying to improve high-risk intersections. Since this single-payer plan receives all data of crashes in the entire province in the form of claims, they have comprehensive information to identify these problem intersections. The data is so good they can confidently document their return on investment at $4.70 for every dollar spent. Here in this page, the Manitoba plan identifies a problem. Accidents increased in the winter and they knew the snow tires can prevent them. Many folks could not afford the purchase. So they established a low interest lending program so more people could purchase snow tires from any of the 695 participating tire dealers. I've heard there are numerous bike accidents on Mill Street at the bike path near Shaddix and Hardware, but knowing this for sure is not part of our public conversation. Here's an interactive map that shows location and frequency of bike accidents in the Vancouver area. The user can see all these years concurrently or specify which year to look at. In addition, you can click on each dot and see how many accidents occurred at that intersection. It appears the plan publishes these maps within four to six months after each year. This information is complete as possible. In the U.S., I've only been able to find similar maps published by volunteers. We do not know how complete the information is. I wanna thank you again for considering this Warren article. I should mention that all of this work should be done with high regard for privacy. While these ideas may be interesting, the immediate point of this Warren article is to find out the cost of our premiums compared to the cost of the claims paid out in order to learn if further inquiry is warranted. I hope I've piqued your curiosity and that you will vote yes to support learning more about insurance in Arlington. Thank you.